Welcome back to another edition of Trial on Fire. Michelle's joining me again so I can bombard her taste buds with who knows what. Asparagus and <laughs> Brussels sprouts. <laughs> no, we're not going to continue with the asparagus and Brussels sprouts. Okay. <clears throat> but as you can tell, if you can read this, I'm going to be trying some more sauces from the Heat from the Hammer from their selective sampler pack. Ooh. I've already tried the Cherry Fusion barbecue sauce, which I didn't remember being a barbecue sauce until I tried it. <laughs> Even though I'd read it like maybe two minutes beforehand. Well, you know. <clears throat> but there is a nice, good selection of stuff in here. Nice. And so. It's a box of bottles. Mm -hmm. They're very vile sauces. Let's hope not. But no. Let's hope not. <laughs> so, since. We. you not sure. If I could speak today. <laughs> Michelle has really no idea what is in the, the no. box here. I kind of know, so I'm going to do it this way. And oh, am I supposed to be picking blind? Yeah, and you will just reach around and, and grab any bottle you want out of the... If you reach from the side, it might be easier. <laughs> Got to find the bottle. This one. It has been chosen! Okay! Uh-oh. The chosen one! That was an interesting selection. So let's see what the booklet has to say about it. <clears throat> you were the chosen one, Anakin. <laughs> you were supposed to bring balance <laughs> to the force. So it better be balanced uh, sauce just for that. It's going to be extra charged, just like Anakin. <laughs> Star Wars references. I can find it in here. Ooh, maybe it's a mystery sauce. Did I pick the only one that wasn't in there? No, I was just trying to find um, what it is on the heat scale. So it's not overly high on the heat scale. Score. Um, on the green to red that you can see, it's, it's just in the yellow. Okay, so it shouldn't be too bad. <clears throat> no, I'm just trying to find it here to uh, get the information for you. I mean, it looks pretty from here. It looks sort of like a pear Colored. Yeah. She's finding it because it's not looking like it's in here. Oh, see, and maybe I picked the one that wasn't in there. But that, yeah, because there's ten bottles in total. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it should be in here. What's it called? Since I don't know. Polio. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not polio, it's polo. Polo Y Pescado? Weird. I mean, it sounds kind of tropical. Yeah, that's why I'm trying to find it here. But it's not coming up. Just looking at the. Uh... Oh, here it is. Oh, did you find it? It's just good. Yeah, it's on a weird background, so it's, oh. it's hard for me to. Because it looks it. like it's got like little seats and stuff in it. So this is what it was on. So it was a little <laughs> hard for me to read the blue text on the black background with the, without the glasses on. So let's see what do we have here. Okay, well, a little bit of information about the label that they have in here. Our daughter graduated from Mohawk College in graphic design. She designed our main logo on the candy skull and this label. So, if you look at it, it's actually, it's got the uh, chicken and... Well, if they're doing kind of like a, a candy skull, that's more or less like a Mexican? Yeah. So this Mexican-inspired oh. hot sauce uses jalapenos, scotch bonnets, and fresh lime juice mm. for a tasty combination ideal with chicken, uh, so polo, so yeah, Spanish for chicken, or fish, pescado. Um, it's got a mild heat. Okay, it sounds good. Hey, I could have picked a lot worse. Lime jalapeno hot sauce. Do you want me to open it? Oh, you got the knife. Knife. You could, you could be knifey oh. person. Knife. 
I will stand over here. You're gonna stand? You can pick it up? <laughs> as far as I can go. <laughs> ah, my finger. <laughs> it's okay, no blood. <laughs> I'm a danger to myself. Note to self, never hand <laughs> Michelle a knife. I think you're- It's okay. I mean, there's no blood, you just pull. And how would you be able to tell with the red? Oh, then she just rub it in a little bit. It's all good. <clears throat> Keep the knife as far away from Michelle as possible. It smells limey. But limey is limey. Mm -hmm. mm. It doesn't smell bad. No. I don't know if it smells good. Yeah. <laughs> Should be good. My sniffer's a little off. Spoony. Size doesn't Whoa. matter. Whoa. So it's a little liquidy. A little. <laughs> you gotta drink that. You can smell the lime juice when you after you take it out. No, Which I like lime. I love lime. The lemon and the limes, so I'll, I'll eat them straight. Smell a lot of jalapeno too. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> That's not bad. A little touch of jalapeno. <clears throat> Mostly lime. Yeah. And it, you can tell it's a fresh lime juice because it's not sweet. You actually know what that reminds me of? Very close, like obviously the consistency difference. But the PC uh, habanero, or sorry, jalapeno lemonade that they, they have. Yes. It has very, very similar taste to that. If you're in Canada, and besides the whole boycotting companies at the moment, <laughs> if you do get a chance or want to try that, uh, PC jalapeno lemonade, I do recommend it. Um, it's actually pretty decent. I do have a video ages ago where I tried it for the first time. Yeah, this is super mild, but it's not super sweet is what I like. No. It, it's, the lime is there, but it's not enough to, because if, if you've ever eaten a lime straight, you get that, not, not a pucker as like sour, but it, that's acidic hit. Mm -hmm. And that's not really there. Like it's tasting, but it's not that hit. Like you get off like vinegar or that too, mm. not, not that quick acidic hit that you get. So that's, yeah, that was not too bad. Not bad at all. Very mild. Yeah. Throw that on chicken wings. You can put that. On. You probably you can put that into like drinks and that too. Oh, yeah. The consistency would actually be pretty. You decent. nearly drank it anyway. Yeah. Well, you know, let's try a different one. Let's, let's go for a two for one here. A two for. What well, is a two for weekend? It is. It is well, a two well, in Canada. Anyways. Canada, it's a two for weekend, which is weird because it's not the twenty fourth. But no. Oh, you found one already. Yeah, I just randomly chose, and this one is the Rosé Red. So this one is actually the base for the Cherry Fusion one that I did. Well, at least it looks like a thicker consistency. It's their um, signature sauce, if I'm not mistaken. It's probably going to be at the front then. If it's no, it wasn't at the front. Second like to last. Mm. <laughs> okay, so this one, this is a quintessential, it goes on everything sauce. Red chilies, Thai chilies, scotch bonnets. Give this a medium heat. It goes great on anything you can uh, anything you can cook up. Yeah, sounds good. The Coste family, Jay's mom's family, that's the owner, um, came from the island of Rosé in Orkney, Scotland, to the city of Hamilton in the 1860s. So yeah. they have some. Long time hit, uh, history to the city. It's all purpose hot sauce. Sounds good to me. They can put that on everything. You could. I'm going to let you open it this time. Cause yes, no knife for you. Don't want to stab my fingies. Oh, 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 tell you. I just seen if there was a lip up there. They really uh, vacuum sealed these well. Which is good. Duh. Knife. Rosé, rosé, rosacea. 
It's a rosy one. <laughs> Did you get some on your nose? I think so. <laughs> I don't know. Either that or the edge of the, the lid touch my nose. <laughs> Just all feel a weird taste and I'm feeling on my nose. I got taste on my nose. <laughs> I didn't know that's how noses work. I'm just saying. <laughs> um, not. It's an interesting scent. It's not very potent. Spoon. It's a jam channel. Ah! Well, jam is something we've done in the past. That was a lot. Watch it all of a sudden <laughs> spurts out. Careful. Oh. Ho. It looks like tomato sauce. It does look like it's that. It's very rosy red. Number five. <laughs> Number five is alive. <laughs> We're doing all the references. It yeah. just smells like almost like a tomato paste. Like there's a bit of heat to it. Yeah. But cheers. <clears throat> a lot of seeds. Yeah. <clears throat> Is there any tomato in there? Because it does taste a little tomatoey. There wasn't, but it's probably because of the, the, all the process of the chilies. Because there's a lot of seeds, so they must have used yeah. like a lot of blended. <clears throat> it, it, it's it's different. It's seedy. I can see why this is used as a base. But on its own? Not something I, I would personally use it on anything. I would have to mix it with stuff. Yeah, you can you can use it as a mix. Like, I almost want more salt or, or vinegar in it. Like, something to temper it. Nothing against the the sauce itself. It's just not my cup of tea. Well, no, because it's a sauce. But, uh, <laughs> it's just like, it tastes like a, a base, but it yeah. doesn't taste like it's got which, the finish Which would make it. sense if they use it as a base in their sauces. But it's not something I would go out of my way to get. Or no. Well, plus you have a consistency thing where you don't like eating. This is just like blended chilies. Like it's like the the meat of a pepper, but there's no um, after flavor. Yeah, it's. I don't know. I don't even know how to describe it. It's. I don't even like the the heat is is there. There is a a taste, but it's not a definitive taste. No. Yeah, you need like. Um, you need something with actual, like, the seasoning. Like, if you put some vinegar in here even to tamper yeah. it down, because you'd have that. See, the best comparison I can say for this, taste-wise, would be if you open up a, a can of tomato or a, bottle, a jar of tomato sauce or whatever. And literally just... But, well, yeah, it's, it's similar because it's just mashed chili. Yeah, it, it's kind of got that. It's there. There's some herbs kind of... Was there anything else in that other than just the chilies? Like, is it just literally chili mash? Because it doesn't taste like there's any flavoring added to it. Do you want me to read it? Yeah, I got it. I got my specs permanently attached to my face. So the ingredients are water, vinegar, tomato, so there's tomato in it. Okay. Uh, tied red chilies, finger chilies, scotch bonnets, uh, tomato paste, honey, garlic, salt, black pepper. I don't taste the honey garlic or salt, and I barely taste the vinegar, but you certainly can taste the tomatoes and the yeah, chilies. Yeah, and it tastes very much just like... Yeah. Like you... Hunts or... Yeah. Whatever brand kind so of... So we definitely guessed the tomato on it. Yeah. But yeah, with this, if if I were to use this in anything, I would definitely have to add seasoning. And maybe yeah, uh, it, it, more vinegar to bring out the flavor. But if you like your sauces... Mild? Mild is probably a better term than what I was saying. <laughs> bland? I was going to... Bland is the word that came to my mind. Yeah. It's not, not in a bad way, just for Simple. me. Yeah, basic. So that would be great for you. There's yeah. not a lot of heat, and it work, would work for people who... It's like home cooking. We don't have all... like if, if you're cooking something at home, and you're doing just the basic bare-bone cooking, this would be good. Yeah. But if you want something with like added oomph for kick... Because yeah. you like to your flavors in the extreme. Yeah, I like to so go from one more. end to the other for the my flavorings. But not bad. Like definitely, it's definitely yeah. usable. Yeah, 
So yeah, that's the rosé red number five and the polio. polio. <laughs> <laughs> you call it polio. I'll get your vaccinations. <laughs> polo white pescado yeah. from Heat from the Hammer. Yeah. Check them out. Yeah, pretty good. So far, I ha- haven't been disappointed by the sauce. This one, not, like I said, it's, not, it's there, but it's not like it's old. I'd never touch it again. But the kind jalapeno of, lime was pretty good. Yeah, it was actually really good. Like I said, it reminded me of the uh, the jalapeno lemon, lemon yeah. lime meat or tender, whatever it was called. Yeah. But yeah, it's... The and answer. you've got like 20 more to go. No, only seven. Okay. It's only a 10 pack. <laughs> There's been three now. <laughs> Yeah, well, thanks for watching this one, and we'll catch you later. Enjoy the heat, stay spicy, and who knows what sauce or We weird never know things. what's going to be happening to our spoons. Yeah, or what we're ingesting if there isn't spoons. We never know. That's it. Could be the table one day if I run out of sauces. <laughs> Take care. Yeah, it's not bad. That one would work. Pretty mild. Oh, play a bit? Yeah, that one's actually a second highest one. Would not have guessed it.